All right, fam, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, I wanna urge you to please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow to a thousand subscribers this year and we're well on our way. We just hit 700 subscribers today, so we're making some good progress, but there's thousands of you guys that watch the video, so obviously you guys aren't all subscribed. So please support the channel and hit that subscribe button. And if you like, go ahead and hit that notification bell too, so you know when I'm dropping my videos. Now, I wanna also take this time to thank all you guys that support the channel. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that have been supporting me from the very beginning. This channel's been going for about two and a half years. It's a slow road up, but I am thankful for the 700 subscribers I have and I continue to get more and more, so I'm truly, truly blessed. Now, today I was gonna drop a video that I recorded last week and I actually shot two videos last weekend, but they're taking a little long to edit and I don't wanna rush through my editing process. So I'm dropping this quick little update video just to get you guys up to speed on all our project cars that we have. So let's just cut to the intro real quick and I'll get back to you guys with an update. All right, fam, as you saw from the intro, I'm gonna do a quick project update on our cars on the channel. So let's just jump right into the video. We're gonna start here with the Audi first. I did mention that I shot two videos this weekend and it was on the Audi Q7. Uh, all my Audi fans out there, I do appreciate you guys that tap into the channel. I see you, you guys are big supporters. So I wanted to make sure to get some Audi videos out for you guys. So I did one on the brakes. I, it wasn't a tutorial, but I did do a brake upgrade. Uh, so go ahead and check that out. That'll drop next Monday. Uh, and then I also did a seat repair on the third row seat that would not retract. Um, so I went ahead and fixed that as well and diagnosed that problem. So go ahead and check that out. And I wanna say thank you to all my Audi guys out there that are supporting the channel. I see you. You guys are big supporters. You watch all my videos. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. So uh, the next things for the Audi itself would probably be uh, an exhaust upgrade. I'm probably gonna do cutouts, uh, electric cutouts, uh, and bring out some burble from the exhaust. So uh, we'll work on that uh, in an upcoming video. Now we'll switch to another vehicle. This one's new to the channel. It's a GLA 250. However, we probably won't be doing much to this but we'll see in the future what kind of videos we may do on the GLA. Now, you guys that watch the channel are probably very familiar with the 33 Ford pickup, AKA Rusty. Uh, this one here, we have quite a few videos on. I haven't done anything to it lately. Uh, honestly, it's been parked since Hot August Nights last year. I pretty much went to Hot August Nights when I came back, I parked it and then haven't driven it since. Uh, until this week. I did drive it to work twice this week. So um, I found out the gas was bad. Uh, I had some drivability issues. It was missing and backfiring. It just, cut, I couldn't pull under load because I, I was getting detonation. So uh, I went ahead and put some high octane race gas in it, 108. Uh, and now it's running perfect, just perfect. So. Uh, I drove it to work twice this week just to get it running and uh, get it lubricated and, you know, uh, just stretch its legs a little bit. So, uh, the 33, no real big plans for the 33, but I'll show you guys what it is so far. Uh, for those that are interested and maybe haven't seen it, it's a mid-engine uh, and we're running the 2.0 liter Ecotec engine. So this is out of a Chevy Cobalt. It has the M62 supercharger here and it's got the stock transaxle uh, QA1 coil overs. You can see there, they're cantilevered and we also have the QA1 coil overs up front as well. Uh, and then some five speed manual transmission. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Now, one of the upgrades I wanna do on this is to do a turbo swap. Uh, take this M62 supercharger off and put on a turbo. Uh, the reason why, if you're wondering why I would do that, is because there's a heat exchanger plate uh, for the supercharger setup. So on the intake, there's a heat exchanger because uh, it's a water to air 
uh, intercooler. So that creates a restriction across the intake. So at high boost, it, it starts to give a, a big restriction on airflow. Uh, and then your air starts heating up and then your air intake temperatures just get too high. So it's just, it, it just limits you on how much horsepower you can actually pull out of this engine. So I'm almost at max. I don't want to keep pushing it and have uh, drivability issues and failure modes all the time. So I'll probably do a turbo setup with an air-to-air -air intercooler. So that would be the next thing planned for the 33. So let's keep moving along here. We got the RV. Uh, not a lot of content on that. Obviously, it's not an RV channel, so we're not going to shoot a lot on the RV. I do have a transmission service I need to do to it. Um, probably won't record that, but we may take some trips in it this summer. So, you know, stick along to the channel and you may see it in some of my vlogs. Uh, another thing you don't see a lot is the boat. This here is for sale, so if you know anybody that's looking for a cabin cruiser, it's got a 3A3 stroker. I have the dyno sheets on it, it's dyno tuned, everything. It's a crate motor, so um, it's a single Merc out drive, and obviously it comes with the trailer. It sleeps six, and it holds 13, it is yacht certified. So if anyone's interested in that, holla at your boy, hit me up in the comments, DM me on uh, Brett, underscore media underscore ig uh just reach out to me if you're interested in buying if you're interested in buying a boat uh so the next thing is the jeep this is a jk uh it's a jku actually so it's four door gotta have four door for the fam bam so everybody can fit uh some of the recent things we've done to this is we put the 33 inch tires on with the 20 inch wheels looking sick so uh, we also, let's see, what else did we do this? Oh, we also put in the rear locker. So we have an ARB rear locker. Now I still have to put in the air compressor in order to drive the locker. So that would be an upcoming video is I'm gonna put the air compressor in, the switches inside obviously to actu actuate the air compressor. Um, so that video is gonna be coming up. Another thing we got to do to the JK is we got to put on a spare tire carrier so we can get a bigger tire on because this one won't fit the 35. So we'll have to get a better tire carrier to fit our 35. I do have a spare tire that matches these wheels and tire. So don't worry, we'll get this ugly one off the back and get a true spare tire for the back of the Jeep here soon. Um, with that, it'll probably come a bumper upgrade with the spare tire carrier. Uh, moving along here, we gotta do a transmission service to it as well. Uh, and then we have a leak down here. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. Uh, there's a leak here, so we got an oil leak we gotta try to figure out. Uh, so that's another thing that's gonna be coming up. And we got a new winch for the front of it. I got a better winch. We're gonna end up taking this one off and putting a new winch on. And then I have to either weld this bumper and put some supports to make it stronger or replace the bumper altogether. I think I'm gonna hold off on the bumper replacement for another year uh, and just weld this one up. Uh, it works all right. There's just a couple spots that are broken welds on it that I have to re-weld because it's probably an Amazon bumper. I don't know, I'm not the one who put it on but I'm gonna have to definitely reinforce it. So there's gonna be some fabrication work to the front bumper. Uh, and then we're gonna be swapping out the seats inside from this gray uh, to a black seat. So I got some seats from a 2000, I think 14, a Rubicon that we're gonna put in here. So going along with our Ru Rubicon theme Hence, Rubiclone. We're gonna go ahead and put some Rubicon seats in it. So, those are a few things coming up on the Jeep. Now, we have these two in the garage. So, we have the 64 Skylark and the 73 Camaro. Now, on these two projects, um, I mean, honestly, we're moving along pretty good on the Skylark. 
I, I should be working on it more, but I just haven't had a lot of time lately. I apologize for that. But some of the things that we've done so far, we've put the LS engine in. Uh, this is a 5.3 liter. We went ahead and swapped out that truck intake for a Fitec intake fuel rails. We got some new injectors in there. We did the fuel system, air motive pump, air motive regulator. Uh, the most recent video, we replaced the truck water pump with a LS1 LS3 style because our water neck on the top of the truck water pump would hit our throttle body. So we had to swap that out in order to get our throttle body to fit. Uh, so now it exits right here in the front. So that'll be nice. Uh, another thing that we've done on it so far is we put the transmission in. Uh, you can see how we cut up the transmission tunnel there to fit the transmission. However, some projects that are coming up is we're going to swap that transmission out for 4L80E. I don't even think I'm going to run that 4L60E at all um, because this is a twin turbo build. Uh, so we're going to put in a monster transmission here in the future. So that transmission is going to come back out. Uh, a more recent video that's going to come up or a video that's going to come out soon is going to be us putting a radiator in. That's the next thing we're going to really do on this is fit up a radiator and um, we'll probably have to cut up the radiator supports in order to get that in. This is a twin turbo build so we do have to mount our turbos. I'm going to keep them under hood I decided here and here. Um, originally I was going to have them mounted high through the hood but I'm not going to do that. That's just that's too much. I don't want that much attention. So I'm going to keep them under the hood and then I'm going to put in some air funnels here and these inner headlights i'm going to delete the headlights and put some air funnels for the turbos so those are a couple things coming up i got to put this wheel well back in if you guys been following along you know i had to take it out in order to get the evaporator core out for the um, ac delete so we're going to have put that back together i have to build some blank off plates here for where the heater core was so I'll go ahead and probably build those in an upcoming video. Uh, a lot of stuff still to do on the Skylark. We have this steering rod here, or I should say steering shaft that runs into our header. So we're going to have to address that here. Uh, so I'll probably get a new steering column, a little shorter, and then I'll use uh, some U-joints on both ends. So we want to go ahead and get that steering shaft swapped out for a collapsible steering shaft anyways, just for safety measures. So we're going to go ahead and get that done. Uh, another thing we need to do is the interior. Obviously, we're going to rework the dash and customize it ourselves. I'll put a new steering column in when I do the steering shaft. I'll do that all at the same time. And we also have the fuel management system we have to do. So we're going to put in the Holly Terminator X Max to control our transmission as well as our fuel system and ignition. So we'll get that put in. Uh, most of these items I already have sitting on the shelf over there. So we'll go ahead and get that done. But it just takes a while to shoot these videos and edit them. So I get to it when I can get to it. And uh, I'll try to get some videos knocked out once a week, like I promised. Uh, now moving on to the Camaro. Now the Camaro's, I haven't done much to it in a while. I did a tune on it recently myself. It's running a lot better. Uh, still got some more tuning to do, uh, but it's a slow process because I'm really not spending enough time on it. But we'll continue to tune it this summer. Uh, another thing I want to do is put the hood on. So the reason why the hood is not on the Camaro is because um, the latching system. As you can see, there's an intercooler now here in front of the radiator. So the release for my hood latch, uh, I had to cut out of the way. So there's no hood latch release. So if I put the hood down, I can't open it. So I'm going to have to figure out how to fab up a new hood release for that latch. Uh, and then get this hood back on. So that'll be an upcoming video. I'm going to really start working on the Camaro again. And I'll tell you why here shortly. Uh, but besides that, I, uh, I want to put the interior in. Now I have all the interior. These seats here that are in the Skylark are just here for storage. I'm going to actually put these in the Camaro. 
because uh, they matched the back seat. They were all upholstered together to match. So I have the full interior for this car. Uh, I just don't have it in because obviously I have to do the body work. So you can see here, I got a lot of rust damage. I got to repair there. I also got rust damage here on the trunk. Uh, and especially here, I mean, you can put your finger right through. So I have to take the back window out and redo all this body work. Uh, so with that being said, the body work is the next thing to do on the Camaro. Uh, besides the body work and the paint, I need to put a rear end in. It just still has a 10 bolt rear end. So I want to upgrade it to a nine inch. So that's coming up in the future. Um, let's see what else. Uh, and then once we get the body work done, we could put the interior back together. So this one's almost done, to be honest. I have even the dash, the whole dash I have. You can see it right here. Uh, now we're gonna change the color, so we'll paint it. But you can see we have the complete dash. We have all the pieces. We have the door panels. We have everything for the Camaro to finish it. Uh, and with that being said, what we need to try to figure out is what car we're going to be taking to Hot August Nights. Now, I've been talking to my girl about it. She's been giving me her input. Uh, she wants me to focus on one and get it ready for Hot August Nights. Last year, we took the 33, um, but I don't know what I'm going to take this year. Now, the Skylark is the one I initially wanted to take, but there's just too much. I got to do an upgrade of the drum brakes. I didn't mention that, uh, but the drum brakes need to be upgraded to disc i'm not going to feel comfortable driving on the drum uh, and then we're going to put some power brakes on here so i got to sort out room for the the brake booster and the dual master cylinder and that sort of thing so we got some some space constraints there so a lot of work still to do on the skylark so i don't want to pressure myself to get it done by august so we're not going to take the skylark to hot august nights this year i really I'm going to have to decide between the Camaro and the 33, which you saw earlier, but that's parked out in front of the house. Uh, so I got to figure out which ones I'm going to take. But my girl, again, she wants me to get one done. Uh, the 33 is obviously closer. Everything's done on it. It's a rat rod, so I don't have to paint it or anything. If anything, I'll shoot a clear coat, but that's it. Uh, but it has a whole interior I have to put together. And... I took it last year, so I'm not sure that I'm going to take the 33, but I still haven't decided. You can make a comment below which one you rather see at Hogus Nights this year, but it's either the 33 or the Camaro. So just comment below which one you want to see at Hot August Nights. Uh, now on the Camaro, obviously the body work is going to take a long time, right? I got to cut out panels. I'm going to have to put a new roof panel on. I'm going to have to fabricate all of these patchworks and we're going to have to sand it. We're going to have to get it straight, put some filler on it. We're going to have to shoot some paint, primer, everything on it, wet sand it. There's just so much to do. Uh, and then we have to put the interior back together once we get that done. And we do have to do the hood. So again, I'm stuck at trying to figure out which one I'm actually going to take to Hot August Nights. Um, oh, and I didn't really talk about the Camaro. So the Camaro is an LS swap too. It's a 5.3 liter, but I went single turbo on this one. You can see it there, the turbo. It's a pretty big turbo, GT45. So it's a big turbo. It takes a while to spool up. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's got an intercooler, uh, truck accessories. Yeah, it's, it's really nothing um, just a 5.3 liter single turbo but um, yeah you guys are gonna have to uh, help me decide which one I'm gonna take to Hogus Nights which one I'm gonna focus on I think I'm going to start working on the Camaro more though just in case we decide to take it I'm gonna get the hood on and in an upcoming video I'll do the hood and I'll um, fabricate the latch all right so that's gonna be the update for the Camaro I gave you a full project update on all the vehicles, but before we end this video, I want to show you something I've been working on on the computer. Now, you know I like to represent the channel with a t-shirt. The last one was on the 33 Ford pickup with the Ecotech swap. 
And so the new one is the Twin Turbo Skylark. So this is a shirt I've been working on. Hopefully you guys can see that there. Um, sorry about the glare on the screen. But this shirt will be coming out in a couple of weeks. So just wanted to show you guys that little design I've been working on. But if you like what you saw in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell to be notified of my next episode. You know I'm trying to get this channel to a thousand subscribers. I've been doing it for two and a half years, so I feel like I earned it. Hopefully, if you enjoy my content, you can consider subscribing. I can really, really use your support to meet my goals. Uh, also, we're going to have the video for the Audi dropping on Monday. So tap into the channel and check that out when it drops. And until next time, stay good, family. Peace.